Dr. Hoffman here again, and today I want to talk about why you can't see up close anymore. We are talking about presbyopia. Now, if you are hitting the age of maybe your late 30s to early 40s, you're probably noticing that either things up close are becoming a little bit tougher to read, or you're getting a whole lot more eye strain when you're reading things up close. This is due to a condition called presbyopia, which every single person on this planet will get eventually. Physiologically, what is happening is that you have a muscle on the inside of your eye that every time you look at something up close, it is flexing and pulling your whole visual system into focus. It works so subconsciously that you barely even notice that this muscle is flexing until you hit that late 30s, maybe early 40s stage when you start to notice those things up close, you're becoming blurry. And that's because that muscle that used to contract pulling your visual system into focus starts to go weaker and weaker. It'll start around those ages and it'll progressively get weaker and weaker until you hit the age of right around 60 to 65-ish. Now, a lot of people compensate for it by either holding things out a little bit further or kind of tilting their head up a little bit or even magnifying something on their phone. But eventually that can get a little bit tiring and cumbersome, especially if you are looking at something up close all day because you work from home or you work from a computer. Or the other quick reason that a lot of people will notice is when they're driving because if they're wearing their glasses or their contacts and they're looking far away, it's really tough for them to see the speedometer or the hand dial at any point. Now, the traditional fix is just to put on a pair of reading glasses whenever you're looking at something up close. So if you need to look at a menu at a restaurant or you need to look at the computer or you need to look at any kind of book while you're in bed, you just throw on your reading glasses and it'll give you some magnification to help compensate for that weak muscle that has happened. But sometimes the tough things with these is that you have to constantly keep putting your glasses on and off because when you put on those reading glasses to look up close, if you look at anything that's beyond about half an arm's length away, it will be blurry. Now the traditional fix for being able to get clear vision far away and up close is what we call a traditional bifocal, which is when you have those glasses that kind of look like this, except they have a big ugly line right in the middle there. Now these are a great fix they do just have a little bit of a older connotation to them. So what I recommend is what's called a progressive or a no line bifocal. So it looks just like a regular pair of glasses, except in the top part of the glasses, it'll have your prescription for far away. And if you don't have any prescription for far away, it'll have nothing up top. In the middle, it slowly transitions to your computer distance. So usually this is about an arm's length away. And then up close, it has things that are closer. So right around 40 centimeters, which would be like your phone or a document or a book to read. Now, the reason that I love this is because you don't have to constantly take your glasses on and off like you would just a regular pair of reading glasses. It also is not like a bifocal because it has no line. So it looks just like a regular pair of glasses. And it also has your computer prescription in there too. So you can just kind of scan up and down through the lens and it takes a little bit of time, but eventually you get used to it but it really helps from having to take your glasses on and off all the time. Now, there's a lot of different types of progressives. Some of the more cheaper, lower quality progressives will have small spaces that you can look through for the distance, and then maybe you'll have a little bit of a bigger space for your computer, and then maybe a little bit of a bigger space for your up-close vision. But if you opt to go with a little bit of a higher quality lens, then I would recommend Zeiss's progressive lenses. Zeiss's progressive lenses are super nice because the area that you can look through to go for the distance or for your computer or for your up close vision is super wide. And so you don't have to spend a lot of time looking for what distance you want to look through. Now, starting to lose your vision up close is not a fun thing to go through. So if you do have any questions, go ahead and leave them down below and I will do my best to answer them.